away. It's going away. Is it on fire? It it will be. Oh shit. It w it definitely will be on fire. So guess. Oh wow. A club cat. That is a. It's gonna be another adventure. I'm here with Dan. What are we doing, Dan? Going to get a bus. Yeah. You know, it was a Friday. It was raining. So I think we should buy a van again. Yeah. It just seems like the right move. Basically what happened here is uh, this van again got listed on the marketplace for a really good price. Um, and within 15 minutes of it being listed, a friend of ours saw the listing and um, contacted both of us and said, hey, I wanna buy this van. But there's a little problem. That guy hates me. That guy, I've been trying to buy this van for a long time. I've seen it in person. I wanna buy that van, but that guy will not sell me that van. So. We took it upon ourselves to go buy that van. Then we're gonna sell it to him because we're nice people. Everybody deserves a van. Yes, exactly. It's a good I didn't deal. have time to pack snacks, so I just brought a block of cheese. Swiss cheese. He says he doesn't like Swiss cheese, but hey, look, I have snacks. What do we got here, Dan? We have a 1986 Vanagon Westphalian, or a Vanagon uh, GL. It's okay. got a lot of moss. With the wheelchair ramp, gray in color, There is an engine, but some things are missing. Yeah, it falls on you. Yeah, I'll go grab it a bit. Um, I just said the ball that was about to be left on you. Oh. Power locks. So it's 500 bucks. Power yeah. locks. Automatic. Power windows. Power windows on the blue interior. That's atypical. Okay. Go for it, Dan. Do dangerous things. Oh, it smells like hantavirus. It does have some icicles. Nice rear cushion. There we go. Look at how successful we are. Holy crap, that's heavy. Ooh, it's gross. Come out. What do you think? It's gross. Kind of run. Yeah, eh, I see some things that are off, but there's a lot of good core here. I mean, the oil breather is looks to be a uh, that looks to be a cap off of a spray paint can and this is off and um there's not an ac thing and then that's over there what's that oh that's a real deal yeah that's a what is that look it's for this yep. i need one of this o'reilly's anywhere 10 bucks does that come with the van no oh i'm buying that 108 852 <laughs> oh they're up the there AC that's controls right. are up here oh this, this is, is not so nice <laughs> because the ac <laughs> is this is for, no, this is, this, this what? gets you, this is for speed. Oh yeah. That's for speed. Yeah, this is not enough I believe that's the only hole. Yeah. It's great. What is you that like, you got there, Dan? This here is an AC compressor. Uh, right here for uh, probably this van. Maybe is that, <laughs> do you keep it in the front seat? Yeah, well that, <laughs> that way it gets colder, you know, cause yeah, you put yeah, AC compressors in the back. Ed, it doesn't do as yeah, much. It doesn't Ed, do as well. Ed wanted to restore it, like I said, and he, he. It's got good, well, it's got a lot of rust, but yeah, it does have some of the paint. Is so we're looking it over and overall it looks, um, it's not bad. Uh, there's a lot of car here. It's got a lot of good bits. Um, power locks, power windows, power mirrors, automatic transmission, uh, complete engine, look, wiring harness looks good. Um, it's rusty uh, and it's crusty, but apparently this car drove nine months ago. They uh, actually drove it around. So that's all I need to know. So just a quick walk around, you know, it's got some rust up here. That's some lichen, that's a creature growing power mirrors uh it's a bonus it's a feature um in here it's it's rough but it it could exist it's missing that door panel you got the this here you got a nice dent there that panel's rusted off the engine's a little bit apart but it's it's mostly there interior is pretty shredded but it's mostly there that panel's gone jack points look pretty okay it's straight on this side you know, can't complain too much about that. This is fun, it's aerated, but that's a feature. And uh, yeah, it's a whole car. It exists. And it has a title. It has a title. Hey, we bought another Vanagon because we needed to do that. That was the right decision. 
Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so what happened? I, I think we bought the van. We agreed to buy the van. We haven't exchanged money. Uh, at the last second, the title didn't work out. Anyway, I don't know if we bought the van. It's not moving today. There will be some second visit. Mm, that was weird. We didn't get shot. We didn't get shot. That's good. Okay. I'm in yellow bus. I'm all packed up with parts and we're going to go get the bus. Dan and I worked out a deal with the buyer. It's going to a buddy. Uh, we're taking it to our buddy's place and we're going to try to get it running today. So that's a pretty exciting adventure. I love making these things work. Oh, look, the rescue squad. We got here uh, an 86 and a half minivan or, you know, passenger van with some lichen. It's got creatures. Yep, those, that is alive. You don't want to kill that. And it's got a wheelchair ramp, which is pretty cool. I mean, I think if there's a scenario where the ramp stays in, we don't want to discuss that. Supposedly it works. But uh, I was just seeing how they have it wired through here. Yeah, that's some <laughs> the guy that, question mark. So the guy that used to own this van had a son who was um, mobility challenged and he lived to be 14 years old but he got to cruise around in this van before he passed away uh in style and i think it's it's a pretty nice piece maybe okay so here's what's going on we've attached this to this Physics. dan is yes dan is doing oh that's working kind of he's slack lining <laughs> he's slack lining the car off the trailer that's working you're a heavy boy well actually uh, the i have functional parking brake did he try to pedal at all yet it's garbage. Pedal's garbage, but I have parking breakage. That'll work. Probably. Or we die. It would probably be me that dies, though. Ooh. This feels dangerous. So I'm sitting in the Vanagon on the trailer. The Vanagon is attached to a solid object behind us. And then uh, they're going to pull the car out. Hey, Dan, if I have to put the brake on, just yell stop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. This, I should record this just in case. Whoa! Okay, do danger things. Ho -ho! Yes, that's how you dismount. It's installed. We've installed it. What do we think? Is this the ground? Is this a ground? Spot? Oh, grounds? No, that's a red. Red is usually red. Red isn't ground. That's red. Okay. So we'll ground the red. Black yeah. to white. Black to yellow. And then touch that there. When the sparks come out. See if there's buttons. It says deploy! Deploy! Da, 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 da. Oh, this is awesome. That's and then cool. we go from up to down. Yeah, There you go. Hi! It's me! Okay, so our game plan is to make this car run today. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to run well, but we're gonna it's make like it run. It's like a Type 4 with head gas. Pretty much. Uh, head I mean, this is, was inspired by a Type 4. So this maybe is your first time. It, maybe spray these down. This is your first time working on one of these, right? Emma? Yeah, I've never played with the water boxers. Uh, what do you think so far? It's. You can tell that it's inspired from the air cooled generation yeah, because the intakes, same location, even the angle of this is like my Mexican beetle for the fuel injectors. Yep. So, Dan, what are we doing now? So, now we're pulling spark plugs, going to give it a little juice. Going to put 39 to 40 of the WDs in. Well, that one's hand tight. No, well, ugga, no ugga dugga, just the. Yeah. No ugga dugga. Plug? There's a plug. That looks pretty good. I would not replace that. Yeah. Champion. It's the 10 millimeter master set. It it's has just 10 millimeters. All it is is 10 millimeter. That's amazing. They're on Amazon. I need this. Your version, they only have it in it's all 10 <laughs> millimeters. We'll put the link below. This is available on Amazon. Wow. You, you happy? That's really cool. We're gonna need to do the injector trick. I'm sure they don't work. So we're gonna get the injectolators and the 18 volts. Four uggos. And you got them. And you use the PB blaster. Oh, this is gross. What did this you find? This is gross. Show me. Use your words. So. What is it? Is it it's where babies get made. The condom? No, it's just, it's just, ew. 
Oh, it has mice. There's there's evidence. There's creatures. Oh yeah. They're in here. Uh, hello? Anybody home? Oh, this is their house. Do you need some string? Are you oh, set on string. There's a supply of string. We've got some string here. It's a good string supply. I'll take that string. You want this string? Dibs on the string. Yeah, here, it's all yours. Nice. All right, I found this up there. It's not a gonzo, no. This is your rear windshield <laughs> washer tank cover. So we got uh, three of the spark plugs out, but one of them just is not doing it. It's not a happy kid. So I'm gonna hit it with this uh, carpentry hammer like a lot. That usually fixes things. I know every carpenter says a hammer is the right way. And actually, I don't know if you guys know what I do for a living, but a hammer is the right Grab way. It moving. Oh, with all the arms. Yeah, that, that's the Harbor Freight. I can't believe it's different. It's coming. I just charged it last night. It's coming. We got to put some of the WDs in. I brought 38 WDs, but uh, Evan had two, so we're going to use 40 of them. We'll put some of this in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doing a seven count this time. Stick it in there, give it the old oh, seven. Right oh, I broke it, it's broken. Okay, I put the uh, WDs in, now we can rotate by hand a bunch. She should spin, oh yeah, look at how good she spins with the uh, plugs out. I rotated the engine at least 10 full rotations after putting the WDs in. Now we can pull the injectors and do the little tippity tip with the 18. harness, and it goes on the injector. Then we take it to a DeWalt 18, and we're gonna just click it until we hear that injector click. So right now it's not gonna click probably. So we're here and here, but we're not here and here. That injector doesn't work yet. So when we get one freed up, you can hear it. So that means that injector. Put on some NGK BP6 ETs. Um, these are great spark plugs for every vanigan. So do that. We'll put the link below. These are for clamping off the fuel lines. And pulling, pulling T. Watch. There's yeah. some gas in here. Yeah? You gonna drain it? I'm uh, gonna drain. It's draining from the. Get it out. You got your safety glasses on? Uh, no. That's good for you. Who sponsors your safety glasses? I got a new safety glasses sponsor. They're really nice. Can I have some? It's sure. Dino. Yeah. This is Dino. What's up, Dino? What's up, man? On YouTube. So okay, what? we got we got fuel out. I got these fly ass safety glasses. We'll put Check a link below. Out. Okay. And I got the fuel out. There's a little bit of the drain from the lines and not much drain from the tank. But it came out as a liquid. It, it wasn't was just tar. yellow. There was no tar that I can see. Does it smell like death? It does stink like death. Yeah. So okay. that means it's bad gas. But we'll put a little bit of bad gas, a little bit of good gas in. You don't want to put a ton of good gas in because you'll just wash. Clean. Let's, let's uh, put some 12 volts on the fuel pump and hear it make sounds. Yeah. All right. Hey, so you're missing your echelon seal here on the door handle. You need that, and this is loose. But hey, it's not broken yet. I'll try. Oh, uh, it's okay. What you got, Dan? Oh yeah, she's yeah. Fuel pump's working. It's working. The fuel is trying. Dry. Yeah, no, it's it's. I'm not sure. I might have it the wrong. Guys, you good? Okay, so we need to break this because we don't have a key. So I got this screwdriver. And if we just apply enough, five dollar a gallon gas access. Oh, look at the the animals. Spider. Mm. Yeah, we gained access. They're just put the wires. Oh, on. Wires, yeah. Give it a full send so we can make it go vrooms and stuff. Okay. All the adjectives and nouns probably goes here. We should add oil. We should probably put oh, oil. Oh yeah, on. let's check the oil. We should do oil. What did you find there? Well, Dan? I found this is a nice feature. See, the bumper is dented and it stays put. That's really nice. Um, is that? I think a that was a, it's a feature. Yeah, it was a late model thing. Look it. Any good? It's not burnt. That's good. Is there oil on it? Yeah. Let's put new. Let's put new in. We'll put new in. That'll work. Oh, you got throttle on that. Yeah. That's a hand throttle. Here. You know, he's got a hand throttle, bro. How uh, how do you got for the coolants? We'll see what, is there, is there liquids? Um, not That's much. dry, that's dry. 
It's dry. Yeah. We'll have to add juice. Uh, out of coolant, just get a bucket of water and we'll fill it up. It's water cooled. We'll use water. Somehow the burp tank is completely full of the this this stuff, the, the juices, but the main tank isn't. So this system definitely didn't drive a month ago. Months ago, but it's uh yeah, we'll put some in there. Okay, that's a bumper. There's a bumper piece. I think yeah, you need that. AC compressor. That's good. One of these things that I found was the gas pedal. This is, but with the automatics, it's a little different. It's, it it's metal. It's backed on metal because the automatics, they literally figured out that people push harder on the gas pedal. They literally floor it so hard on an automatic because it's not fast that it, it was breaking gas pedals. So automatics come with a metal reinforced gas pedal. This is that reinforcement. I mean, this is broken. It's not great. distributor cap off let's see what's hiding in there let's see that there is a rotor there is a rotor it doesn't look burn uh, let's clean it up a little get a little sandpaper or scotch bright give that a little cleanness and uh, that pops straight off yep and uh, no leave that leave that leave that and just just uh, clean that clean that oh yeah it's all I'm pretty sure I know what that is. <laughs> what do you think that is? I think that's a catheter. I think there's a catheter under the seat. Okay, let's have a look, see. <laughs> 96 Grammy nominees, including Mariah Carey and Boyz II Men. Creedence Clearwater Revival. That, that's my jam right there. Icebreaker. Okay, okay, so we are going to cycle the fuel pump till we get fuel to come out of this little nozzle. I got my safety glasses on so I can't touch my eyeballs. And do not crank the engine. We're just going first position and then back off when I say so. Ready? Go for it. First position. Dan, you got fuel pumpage? No. So we've determined we need a fuel pump. We're going to put That's one on. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, because the first fuel pump, even though we had it spinning, it doesn't seem to be working. So we're putting a known good fuel pump on. It's not too happy. We'll make it work. Avast! Ye van again, owners! Okay, we just figured out that we actually have a lift here. So we just moved this car and now we have access to the lift. So bring it, bring it this way. I mean, usually cars like this that I'm used to seeing are all rotted out all the way through here. And there's not even a speck of rust anywhere on the frame. Yeah, frame's good under here. Like mint, like there's not even surface rust on the frame. This Looks is pretty good. Most of vehicles I own. <laughs> that spare tire, that is nothing. Ah, that's no big deal. Well, look here, there's van missing. Backing plates are gone, but who gives yeah, a oh, shit? Oh, they're literally not there. Who gives a shit? This they're physically not there? Yeah, that's gone. Well, the spare tire is junk. It's, look at it. It's as bald as they get. I bet it holds There is there. no, there's no tread. Mm. How's the fuel tank look? Pretty, looks pretty. newer. Looks looks replaced. All looks pretty good. Looks like a good car, Evan. Yeah. I think you did well. Um, I'd say so. Okay. Let's finish it. Let's make it work. Make it work. Send it. Fuel filter. Fuel pump. Let's put this spare tire on. Yeah. This is the spare. It's completely ruined. Uh, and it has no air, but it will hold air. This one is flat and, and not good. What happened? This, the one stud is stripped. How stripped? Uh, oh, there's no threads in there. How did that happen? That's 100% ruined. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have you turn the key. We're gonna see that we get fuel out here. Ready? Yeah. Turn the key and be ready to stop. Stop. Do it again. Stop. Do it again. Stop. Do it again. Stop. So keep it stopped. Now we're going to switch to paper towel mode. Okay, do it again. Stop. One more time. Good, stop. We have good fuel. We are ready to go. Stop. Shut it all the way off. I think the next thing to do is to put the airflow meter on and just try to run on gasoline. I don't think it will. I think we'll need some some of the, the go juices, but we'll try it on just the gasoline. Check first. this. 
Whenever you're ready, I want you to crank it. If it does fire, I want you to shut it off immediately. Okay. Go for it. Oh, nothing. No crankage. No crankage. I heard. Okay, stop. Right. Yeah. Is it clicking at all? What's no. going on here? We have no starter edge, and that's probably because I went to go look at this. See this? This whole end moves. There's no way this works. This is super broken. This is the most broken. The solenoid is like a thousand percent broken. If it's that broken, it's that broken. Can we take it? We get it. Let's take it off. Yeah. Yeah, let's take it off. Test it. Okay, Let's see if the remote starter works. She doesn't spin, but she does that. She wants to go. We might be able to make this go. Yeah. So the, the, the solenoid is engaging, but there's nothing happening here. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Hit the solenoid, not the starter. So hold that down with your foot again. If I touch it here, we can get her to spin. And if I touch her, it's all about how you touch her, really. If I touch her here, let's give her a flipsy. But we might be able to hold it together with duct tape and electricity. So then now if I hit it here, she might spin. She's trying. trying so hard. I bet you we could jump her this yeah. to there. Let's see if we do this. If we give her one of these, does she? There's some wires. I think we should put it back in. I think we should run it tonight. Okay. Dan, Dan has spoken. He doesn't think this is safe. So he's just using these uninsulated jumper cables to hit this with a hammer. Well, it's broken now, yeah. We broke it for safety, for safety. It's broken. So we just figured out that this exhaust is completely homemade. See these uh, great welds? But let's just look at the routing. This comes off here and is Pretty welded genius, there. But then it comes into a collector here, it's which comes into another collector, collector. here, yeah. which is collected from this collector, which goes into this tiny little pipe, little baby this pipe, into this, this, this horizontal... Jay. Uh, the, with the clamp elevators and then this little baby it's muffler. Not, it's not poor, it's this not is poorly done. It's it's very poorly done, Dan. It's not this is done. this is amazing. It's got another two on it. And this is, look at all of the J's. There's so many Y's. Let's cut the J's. Let's cut. What do you think, Evan? Yeah, I mean, uh, we gotta fix this rear hatch. I say we, I mean Craig. Craig, you gotta fix this rear hatch. Fixing it. Yeah. I made this work. Because I used some lubricants. Show me. Okay, friends, it's another day. Uh, we had to give up because we ran out of starters. So we, we got this one. Dan had it in his basement because he has these things. And uh, doesn't even own a car it goes to. So we haven't tested it yet. Um, naturally, we ordered a new one from the auto parts store and they shipped in the wrong one. Always a manual. They... Screw up. So we're gonna put some electricity to this one and see if it works. Let's see what she does. That's a good one. Slap it in. Involved now. We have no nozzle. We gave up on the nozzle. I'm gonna do shady things with my fingers so that it goes like that. And uh, hang on one second. Okay, give it a send. Whoa, shit. Nope. Stop. Sparks. Fire. Right Where did it come from? It came uh, down there. How did it do that? Is it hooked up right? That was cool. I don't like that though. Is it still engaged? How did it do that? What did it do? Sparks came out of the engine. Oh, that's great. I think no, it was, think it was off that starter. Off of there onto yeah. that. What's wrong? I don't know. Sparks came out of the starter. It didn't even, it just, like tried to do a thing and then it didn't do the thing. Um, maybe put me up in the air with me in the driver's seat. Right, and hit it with a hammer. Tap it with a hammer yeah. or try to use a, can you touch the two terminals with a screwdriver? Yeah, but we don't want to do that. I mm. just want to see if we're getting ju juicy juice back there. Oh, we, we're getting juicy juice. He, he shorted it earlier by yeah, accident. That's, that wire is hot. It's a trigger wire thing, I think. 
Here's the trigger. A little bit. Oh, look at that. And then when you touch it, it shouldn't come apart like this. So this might not be in peak physical condition. Um, but that's not where the fire came But they out. are edible. You know, it's green. You, can, you get the, I got these pieces. Um, are you in neutral? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not great. Okay, so so one of the things we just determined is we have ground issues. We have full 12.4 volts at the starter post, and yet it's not distributing because... Even if we short it out, it's not shorting because the thing isn't grounded. Our circuit is not complete. Let's make it. I have this going through here from my main here to piece of engine, and we're getting two volts, but I happen to know it's getting 12. So once we ground this to the frame, that should go up by a one in front of it. We'll just draw one on with a Sharpie. I made a new electricity hose. This should take the negatives out of the thing and make the positive situation a little better. We made a ground strap. So we're to the point of thinking it's possible that this starter, even though it bench tested okay, when we put it in and it cranked the one time and made a spark, we might have killed it. It might be dead. Because we've tested everything and all the systems seem like they should work. But it just doesn't work. So instead of doing more electricity testing, we're going to hit things with a hammer. Dan, you ready to do stuff? I'm going to use this uh, hammer called the trusty cook and uh, give it some cranks. There we go. Good. Stop. 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 On its own. I want you to just try cranking it without any hits. So just give it a couple cranks, but don't let it run if it tries. Stop. Stop. Okay. Off. It wants to run. So we're going to give it a little bit of starter fluid. And uh, it's gonna run. It's this is gonna work. Fire extinguisher. I got them here. Okay. Go for it. It's running. Good. Sam. Okay. So we got it running. Well, we got it to do the things on the starting fluid and whatnot because the starter was just tight. When we hit it with a hammer, give it a couple of old tip taps, she does good things. Now we're gonna make an immense cloud of smoke because we put 38 to 42 WDs inside of it. And, uh, and then, you know, it's running on gasoline that is from a different administration. We've hooked up the air flows so that it has that in inputs and stuff. This is a, a cap off of a paint can with duct tape, so we know that's important. And uh, we, it has fluids. Some of them have come out, so there's probably enough. There was when we checked it last, days ago. Um, Dan, give it the full send. Full send. Tap, tap, tap. No, no, just do it. That's it. Oh, shh. Okay. Tap, tap. We, we tap, tap, Yes, tap, yes, tap. yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Tap, tap, tap. And... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's trying, she's trying. Come on, girl, come on, girl, come on, girl. That's on gasoline. It's running. It's alive. It's alive. Did any animals come out? Have we evicted them? Hello? Hello? She's trying. She's got lots of farts. Lots of farts. She had some gluten. Let's do it. Is that the gas pedal? You, you need this back there, right? No, I got it back here. Just use the gas pedal in your hand. Yeah, well, you <laughs> can actually fine. use it with your foot. Do it like that. Yeah, yeah. I got the yeah. gas pedal back here. Here we go.
doesn't want to idle. That's no, fine. This, this is part of the pedal linkage. Yeah, so you don't have a gas pedal at all. <laughs> I'm so silly. I was using this without the linkage. This goes here. Yeah, you need that too. Yeah. I'll do it from back here. There's smoke coming uh, out. This goes here. But it's a little bit of smoke, so it's probably okay. There. That's yeah. better. Is your gas pedal fixed? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so dumb trying to use it. Yeah, it wasn't attached. Right. Now it's fine. We'll, we'll put we'll put more of the pond water in. Pond water, activate! It's all coming out. Is that good septic water? We're gonna need more of that. I'm gonna, so gonna use this very large Craftsman screwdriver to turn the idle up to danger. Let's give it some danger. That's a half. I do this with my laziness. I have this long bar, so I can do it all from here. I'm just sort of vaguely, give it the gonzos. Yes, okay, try it again. All right, here we go. Way too low. Let's just give this about four more of these. What the hell is that? That's oil pressure buzzer. That means we have none. That's fine. I just cranked this out another some more. Okay, do stuff again. Why was it going off earlier? Oh wait, I found a problem. This vacuum line's not attached to anything. We should probably ta attach it. Hey, that would help. Yeah, it's gonna help us with this I stuff. Found a big nut. Okay, try that now. <laughs> give it a send. Sending. She just, she needs more juice run through her. That's violent. Let's uh, keep doing that and just... Alternator's alternating. Alternator's alternating. The 60,000 mile timer went off. That's, yeah, totally uh, real. And the oil pressure light was flashing, but didn't start buzzing. The oil pressure, the low oil pressure alarm didn't start buzzing until the end, which means it's building some oil pressure. So the system is twofold. It will give too much pressure as an indication and too little pressure. There's two sensors and it does stupid things and I don't understand it. We had a flashing light throughout that last run. Okay. I say we get her up to temperature until that catheter melts. Your temp, there's no, there's no water in it. Yeah, we put it in, we filled it with pond water. There's no water. We filled it with pond water, it's fine, send it. This is holding that open. That's probably the way you keep the throttle up. Uh, go for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah! That's a high idle. That's a high idle. It's a very high idle. Right, that was maybe too high. A little bit too high. Yeah, I mean, there's oil on the stick, but. That would explain the clean oil in the ruined van. Somebody tried to clean the oil and fix it. Or change oil and fix it. At least the smoke is coming out. It has it's, oil. Yeah, it's got actually too much in it. Well, that's bad, but let's send it. This is where you put the 710, right? I mean, it's 710? Not get any worse. Is it oil or 710? Hey, that's four. That was, good. That was that four. Was four cylinders there. That was four cylinders. I think the engine's ruined. Yeah, I think it's ruined too. There's a lot of smoke coming out. Yeah, it's yeah. totally ruined. Yeah, it's probably ruined. I think the thing to do now is to let it cool all the way down so that uh, we can check the oil legitimately, maybe even change the oil at this point. Um, there's logic to it. This was the old oil. Let's finally do that oil change. Let's make sure our levels are right. Let's let it cool all the way down, and then let's send it again, all the way up to temperature this time. Well, it's not, it's not in good shape. Oh, we, we might need a new that. This oil filter looks OG. It might be. It's not in good shape. Well, we uh, we brought a one dollar oil filter. This is just, just hold nice this over his crotch so that the hot oil drops. That is some black. Yeah, keep that. That's some Texas tea. Be some crush washers. I'm not that confident that this exhaust hanger is actually supporting oh, this exhaust <laughs> pipe. It's not. It's because it's they're not attached. Well, it's a, more of a guideline. It's like a, it's a suggestion. <laughs> yeah.
It's a moral support. This is a moral support <laughs> exhaust hanger. Evan, what did you say? Is there a built in funnel? You need a funnel? Just pull the tube out. Wow. That's. It's erect now. Oh, he, Evan's gonna give it some gas. You're gonna try some gears. I gas. Just stay clear of the wheels. Evan, you give it gas. There's no gas up here. Look, good. I'm gonna try. Go, it. go. All right. Oh, that sounded really bad. That's not a good gear. That's because we were. Uh... Giving her the business. We like that gear less. Yeah. That one. So that was park. Yeah, you threw it in park. You a threw little. it in park? Yeah. That was the wrong gear to select while it was running. Well, it started making noise. There. I think if we were to drive it tonight, which, I, by the way, I'm all for, we would have to have somebody sitting on the back hatch running the throttle. And then also we would have to use, you know, the transmission and e-brake because yeah. there's no brakes. All so. we need is some kite string and four people and we can make this car street legal. Yeah. So it's like, it's not all gas, no brakes. It's no gas, no brakes. Right. It's almost there. oil light and an oil buzzer no not until just then so we were idling at 1800 because we propped that open and the second we hit 2k the oil light came on the light came on and the second we dropped it down to lower idle the oil the buzzer, came on. buzzer came on so the oil buzzer is indicating low oil pressure at low rpm and the oil light is indicating either high or low oil pressure above 2k which means most likely the dash is broken or the engine's ruined, but it's one of those two things. But the flashers work. The flashers do work. We're being flashed right now. I'm going to do some flashing too. That looks like a huge brake fluid leak. So I went ahead and broke this one off, so that's broken. Um, we can put a whole new, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a brake leak at the soft hose in the passenger rear. Oh, I got that. All the juices are coming out. Um, and I got no juices here. I got no juices. Yeah, she doesn't drive today. She needs, uh, she needs hoses and there's a clog. You got real problems. Don't worry, you can do it. It's just a brake line. So the hard line from this soft line over to the T, which I think is on this side. Am yeah, it's, on, side? It's, it's towards this side. It's on this side. It needs to be replaced. And you can see all the juice is coming out. Right here. It's a short piece of hose. Yeah, it's a hard line. But, oh. So that hard line needs to be replaced. You need to get just a spool of it and the things. We have, uh, yeah, that's... So you've never done this before. It's really oh. satisfying to take pieces off the car. So just, yeah. yeah, rip that one off. That's a good piece. Oh, yeah. That's yours. Oh, you, yeah. oh, you have that. That's yours. <laughs> that's extra. Yeah. Oh, how's it? How is it? Tasty. Mi what, what do you think about that? Tasty. Okay, just to show you that everything works, uh, go ahead and fire it up. <laughs> So once again, we took a bus that was parked for at least 20 years and we made it work. It just needs brakes and it's ready to drive. Oh my God. I can't say I've ever seen that. Dan, you need to come down here and look at this. Quick. I think it's going away. It's going away. Is it on fire? It, it will be. Oh shit. It, it definitely will be on fire. The guess. Oh, wow. A club cat. That is a cheap cat. Add pond water. Oh, yeah. Just just give it a juice it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. It's a little warm. 
Yeah. I think the exhaust that is clogged. That's a good eye. Yeah, this is this the, muffler is full of mice. There's and, homes and in there. Homes and their dead children. Let's remove their homes. Now it's full of cooked mice. Yeah. Well, they're dead. They're dead for sure. 